This video is about how to take your old 8mm or Super 8 films, convert them to video, and then how to clean them up to make them look fantastic. First you will need one of these units here, and they are pretty expensive. You can probably find used ones, because once you're done with it, you shouldn't need it anymore. This unit is pretty easy to thread, just follow the dotted line. Film will thread right through, then you close the door, you make sure the film is latched down into the guide down below. There's several menus you can run through. I usually run medium sharpness to help keep the grain down. And then you can start capturing. It takes quite a while. It's a frame at a time, so this is the part that takes a bit of time and if it's a large reel that's been spliced, you got to watch those splices because they can get hung up in there too. So it is kind of a time consuming situation. Once you have it captured, you can take the USB out and select USB. And once it's plugged into the computer, it will show up in your file manager as film scanner and then you'll have mp4s. This is the captured film. This is from 1955 by the way and you can see there's quite a bit of grain there yet and we're gonna work on that using AI and see if we can't make this film look much better than it does here. We're gonna use Topaz Video AI to clean up this film so we're going to bring it in and we have two monitors here. First thing we're going to do is stabilize the film and I have a preset I came up with here. 8mm film stabilize preset. The film scanner captures the film at 1440 by 1080 at 20 frames per second. The preset here will continue to use 1440 by 1080 but it'll raise the frame rate to 29.97. This statement here is about stabilization, strength 35, full frame, apply correction, and number of passes, two. And I usually export to MOV for editing. So you go over here and set up a scene where you want to start to capture, and we'll capture a 30 second sample. And we've got one minute, 55 seconds for this 30 second sample to take place. You really need a deep learning computer for this. Without a good GPU, you're gonna wait a long, long time for these processes to take place. So you want a, a deep learning computer with a good GPU. Okay. The sample stabilization has now been compiled. So we'll take a look at it here. And you can see all the shaking here in the original, and all that shaking is gone. So that's improved the, even improved the grain quite a bit. So the next step is to bring it into the video editor. Once you stabilize the film using Topaz, can bring it into the video editor. I use Vegas Pro. You can use Premiere or any video editor to add or subtract things from your film, like this blurry spot right here where the camera was paused, left a blurry spot. Oh, I can clean up things like that. Just take that blurry spot right out. And you can make it a dissolve. or not change the film at all. Just go ahead to the next step in the AI process. So in any event, you can add text or whatever to the film here. So, but then you want to export it and keep it in MOV format. So we'll render this as MOV and it'll be under Vegas here. It's considered ProRes HQ. I want to keep the film rate at 29.97 so I'm going to change this 59 to the 29. I'll 
okay. So that'll keep everything the same. And then we'll export it and it'll just be edits after stabilization. I'll just call it that. And we'll render it. Okay, so we'll just save this for now. Close it out. The next step will be to take the edited stabilized film and bring it back into Topaz. Gotta wait for the NVIDIA overlay to come up here. Then in my menus here, I came up with a eight millimeter film enhance. We just did the stabilize then brought it into a video editor, exported it, kept it in MOV format, and now I'm going to do the enhancement. And we're still at 1440 by 1080, original, 2997 frames per second. Enhancements uh, were progressive type. AI model is NYX HQD noise. Version is NYX version two. And then reduce noise, 70. Reduce large grain, 29. Fix compression, 44. The rest are at zero. And no grain, because we're trying to get rid of grain. So now we'll find a spot here and we'll run a sample. So we'll do a 30 second preview and run a sample of, and we'll see the results. Now we can do an AB. We'll play it. You notice there's quite a bit of clarity now. A lot of detail has been brought out with this enhancement. So the next step is to export to another file and then we'll bring that file in and run one more setting to try to clarify it just a little bit more. Topaz has created these two files now. This was the first one for stabilization. Then if you need to edit that one, bring it into your editor, which we showed a little bit of editing on, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this original file. And this is the second one to where we use the NYX2. And now we're gonna bring that file in. Show it right here, the nyx2.mov file. The NVIDIA thing here goes away, it keeps popping up. We've done this stabilize, the enhance, and now we're going to do the upscale. And we're going to try upscaling now. The upscale is still the same frame rate, only we're going to go up now to 59.94 frames per second from the 29.97. We'll do a frame interpolation, Apollo V8, sensitivity 25, an enhancement. We're going to do progressive, of course. Thea, T H E I A. Details and fidelity, we're trying to pull out of this now and fine tune the fidelity. Compression 30, sharpen at 60, reduce noise at 35. And that's all under this preset I made called 8 millimeter underscore film underscore upscale. So now we're going to take a little piece of this and preview it for a 30 second preview. The preview has finished compiling. So now we can do an AB look. And you can see just a little bit of detail has come out. So we'll back it up and play it. You do see a little artifacts here in the background. It's one of the issues with trying to take such a grainy film and, and making it look, look better is you will get a few artifacts here and there. The final run I'll export into MP4. So now we'll begin exporting. Here's a final sample of the enhanced 
eight millimeter film. I'm going to flip back and forth between the original and the AI enhanced. And you can see there's quite a bit of difference there. A lot of the noise is gone and a lot of detail is brought back. So the Topaz AI did a pretty good job on this eight millimeter film to give it a little bit more life. So hopefully I can do the rest of my films this way. It is very, very time consuming though. That's for sure, very time consuming, but uh, films you wanna keep, it's definitely worth the, the time and effort.